Yo, what's up fams? We are here in Perth, Western Australia at the Milky Lane with a special guest, a very special guest, Nicole, also known as Big G, Australia's Strongest Woman. My love, welcome. You ready to do this review? Let's do it. Let's go. All right, fans, we're here. Now, we're just about to look through the menu. Yeah. Pretty crazy menu, man. Look at all the beautiful colors. Like, it's quite bright, guys. Look at that. So, so many options. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? Well, I'm a creature of habit, and I'm really going to step outside my comfort zone today and get some crazy stuff, so. I'm looking at that big bopper, hey. I'm, I'm leaning that way. The double smash bopper. patty, double American cheese, brisket. Ooh, barbecue sauce on the side. All right. Oh, that looks so oh. good. Let's go with, oh God, the Kevin Bacon looks insane. <laughs> <laughs> the Kevin Bacon. Yes. All right. All right, let's do it. I'm going to go the Kevin Bacon. I'm going to go the big bopper. Are you going to do a shake to, to, to top it off? Oh, hell yes. Ooh. Is right, that a buffalo it's... bill? Are you guys ready? Where is that? Mm. I think I'm looking at the um, buffalo bill, eh? Well, I can't get the same one. What? The, 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 Look, let me do that one. I'm not going to try and say it, but... Okay, we're ready to order, my friend. Yep. Can we please have uh, the Big Bopper with a buffalo bill and a Diet Coke just to watch my fig in because I'm a model, thank you. <laughs> That's me, my love. What are you having? Um, I'm going to get the Kevin Bacon, please. And I'll get the... The Buna. The Buna. <laughs> the Buna. <laughs> the Buna shake, mate. Not going to lie, it's sounding like a bit of a heart attack over here. <laughs> My insides are already going, yeah, I'm like, oh, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, just you're imagine, so far off plan, yeah. it's not funny. <laughs> just imagine if we were competing tomorrow. Thank oh. You, thank, oh, I'm so glad I'm not. Mm. You've ordered, hey. Yeah. And then a bueno cocktail. Well, how, how do you say it? A bueno. A bueno. A bueno. Oh, thank you. A bueno. A bueno. It sounds like Captain Encino. <laughs> 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 if you know, you know. Hey, oh my God, that's Captain Encino. Alright, we're going to cheers to this. Cheers, yeah, look at that. Cheers. Oh. OMG. That's really nice. Mm hmm. That's actually. Mm hmm. It's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. My eyes, I don't think they've been that. No, nah, man. That is Handy Buffalo Bill. Mitchie Boy, Handy. Even the top tastes like the top cream. Mm. And then you've got the bubble gum for the nose, fam. Wow. Let's go! Nah. Holy cow, that wow. is so good. That is like so chocolatey, oh. chocolatey, but it's not even like over the top sickly sweet. It's perfect. I'm having childhood memories mm. of a buffalo bill right now. Mm. As I'm aggressively licking the side of this cup. Oh, I think there's a little bit of alcohol in this one. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I just got to the bottom and I think there's a, something s secret in here. <laughs> Get us popping shots in these, man. I think it is. I think, let me look at it again. <laughs> there's a something, something in this one. Bacardi, Carta Blanca, that's oh, alcohol, what? right? Bacardi. Yeah, there's vodka in yours. Oh. Yeah. 42 below vodka in yours. There's oh, a shot of vodka in yours. It. You can taste it. Good. Hey, well, these, this, are, hey, these are some if, good ones. If this, if this food review goes south, we know why. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> I knew I could taste something. Oh, that was a nice little surprise. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Now I can. <laughs> 42 below vodka, yeah. And it's quite strong. And Bacardi in mine. All right, guys. So we are here with our special guest, Big G. Now, for all of you who don't know, she is Australia's strongest woman, and that is a proud title to have. What I want to talk to you guys about is, you just don't know, but she has just come back to competing after having a baby. Yep. Now, how old is baby? He is one year and three weeks old. 
Wow. So within that year, you've had your beautiful son, yep. and you've climbed back to the top of our sport in Australia. Yep. Yep. Can you just sort of take us through that journey? Because yep. as a parent myself, yep. I understand what's involved. Mm. But as a, as a mother, it's a whole different ball game because yep. A father's love is a father's love, but a mother's yeah. love is on a whole new spectrum. And every all you parents out there watching, you understand. So for you to be able to balance life, family, a newborn, but also get back into the sport you love, take me through that. Well, I had a great birth to start off with, so it literally all came down to that. If I was going to go down the road of needing a cesarean, then my whole recovery would have been different. But I was lucky and grateful to have a natural birth. Everything went smooth sailing. I didn't have any complications. So that was like a huge tick to get my recovery and training back on track from the beginning. Um, within the first few days, I just started walking, just getting the feel of things. And then I think at about the two week mark, I actually started lifting weights again. Wow. Yeah, very light, like very yeah, light. Yeah, yeah. And all with like medical supervision and stuff, like my doctor's approval and everything. But, um, and then I just build. And then I got invited to Australia's Strongest International, yes, yes. which was three months <laughs> yep, after yep, giving birth. Yep, I was there for that, yep. Yeah, and so that was, I had no expectations. I was yep. so pumped just to get invited back. Yep. I was like, what the heck? They're yep. inviting me back, yeah, I'm yeah. just had a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I placed fifth at that comp out of eight women. Strong lineup too. Yeah, strong lineup, huge yep. lineup. Um, so that was awesome to place fifth. And then um, I did another competition not long after that mm -hmm. to re qualify for Australia's yep. Youngest Woman. Yep. Placed second, got my invite, yep. and then six months later I competed Australia's Youngest Woman. Wow. And won. And like. And with a distinct. Uh, that's win. what I mean. Yeah. You, you didn't just win, my love. You yep. absolutely dominated. Yeah. And I watched everything. Yep. I watched. I, I watched everything and. I couldn't believe within six months that you turned up to competition and absolutely did that. And yeah. what a moment. Yeah, it was incredible. Like I had no expectations of myself, but the competitor within me though yeah. was like, you're doing this, you're giving it everything. Yeah. And I just was smart about my training. Yeah. I didn't push through any pain yeah. or any discomfort. Mm. I just listened to my body, mm. fueled my body. Yeah. I had regular physio appointments, Let's like I did go. all the right things. Yep. And people don't um, understand that it's not like, I I did all this before. Mm. So, and mm. then whilst I was pregnant, I trained all the way through, like doing what I could do. Yep. Yep. So it's not like I just got pregnant, hands up in the yep. air, stopped yep. training. I just did what I did and all that, pre-work during pregnancy um, paid off once wow. Bubba was here. So, wow. and he comes everywhere with us, like um, to training, just I like, I could not not have him in our environment yes. doing this. And I think what a better place for a child to grow up around. Like, and I can see especially that, as a yeah. mum. And like, <laughs> uh, cause guys I ain't gonna lie, I'm a fan and I've yeah. followed her from day dot and I love everything she's doing and continues to do. And, I see her with her with her baby, her and her partner at the gym training together, and it really hit the spot for me because my my children have been brought up the same. Yeah. I brought them up in the gym. Each and every one of them have been brought up in my career in the gym with me. Mm -hmm. And when I seen that and what they're doing, I, I it sort of um, for me it was like wow, because I understand. Yeah. And I know yeah. that feeling. And there's there's nothing like about having yeah. your family environment around yeah. you while you're doing something yeah. that you love. Yeah. And man, I just it, it, and I I just love it. And yeah, like, I, I yeah. say that with so much love and passion yeah. because yeah. I understand it. Yeah. And when we see that, um, and when we see that, it's like, wow. And yeah. I just really want to say, like, congratulations to you, you and your family you. and your team. Yes. Because, guys, it is a commitment. It doesn't. It, yeah. it takes a whole team. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. To do what we do yeah. on the level that we're doing it, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a lifestyle. Yes. And it's not easy to train and have your kids there, as you know, like yeah. it, a one and a half hour session turns into three yes, hours, 100%. so it's, it's stop, start, stop, start. A lot of people can't train like that. Oh, yes. um, you've got to be able to just turn it on and turn it off. That's like that's mad. literally how my training sessions how, go. How's that been for you, transitioning to that? Is, it, is that a bit of a bit tricky at the start, but slowly getting it now? Um, it was just like, a, like, it was just like a switch. 
it was like, okay, this is how, if I want to compete and be an elite athlete again, this is how I've got to do it. And it was like, just I'm a flick of the that. switch. Like, now you're heading into competitions yeah. with this flick of the switch. Yeah. You can freaking turn it on like that. I just can that. turn it on. Wow. Yeah. A yeah. lot of people can't do that. I, I don't need to be out the back pacing or anything. It's like, all right, the bar's loaded. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> that is a game changer, yeah. guys. That's yeah. unbelievable. If you, yeah. For you to do that, mm. and people that understand, that understand, yeah. know. Because there's a wow. huge, like, mental, especially if you're going for a one rep max. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, Even yep. Um, at, uh, I was lucky enough at Queensland Strongest mm. where I went mm. for that world record. Yep. My mum baby sat for yep. us that yep. weekend, yep. Yep. so yep. I didn't have the distraction. Yep. It was actually quite nice yep. to just be able to go to a competition yep. and just focus on the competition. Because yeah. you do miss that a little bit. Yep. But um, every other competition I've done this year, aside from the one I just got back from, yep. it, Hudson's been there, Mitchell's been there, everyone's been there. So it's yep. just been that on-off flick of a switch so yeah. Yeah, yeah so can you tell us about queensland strongest man yes what you did there yep. how you felt about what you did there. yep so queensland strongest man and woman i recently just set the new world record for the atlas stone for Ooh! the open women can you say that one more time you just what set a new world record for the atlas stone yeah at 174 and a half kilos yes Yes. Let's go. With and a lot of people say I had plenty more in the tank. So, yeah. but <laughs> I so people have, have said there. that. So yeah. the question is, let's yeah. ask you: Did you have more in the tank? I did. Yep, I definitely did. And and people were egging me on out back. Go on, go again. And I'm like, no, it came here to do what I had to do. Yeah. We are in the presence of greatness, a world <laughs> record holder, guys. <laughs> and like, it's not just any lift; it's the pinnacle mm. of all lifts. It is. To, this, lift, yeah. Yeah, to lift a stone is like no other lift in the world. Mm. A lot of people look at it and think it's easy. Yeah. By golly gosh, it is not easy. So that is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank but you. also too, you put the work in to do that. Yeah. And like you yeah. know you were going to do that. Yeah. yeah. I know men that can't even do that. <laughs> I know men that can't do that. And besides from that, you, yeah. you've only recently just got back from an international competition. Yeah. yeah. What happened there? What did you do? And what's going on? So it has been a really busy year, <laughs> but I got invited to um, the Great Lake Strongest Man over in Michigan in America. So I flew over there. Um, it was an incredible ex experience. I put it out there to anyone that hasn't travelled and competed to try it. Go do that show. Like How many was, events? There was five events over, over in the one day. Five events yeah, in the one, one day? day. Yeah, and it was fast paced too. No in mucking the span around. of like four hours. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so it was like warm up event, warm up next one. As you know, it was just bang, 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 bang. Can you bang. tell us the events? Uh, yeah, so we had an overhead medley. Mm -hmm. um, we had a Hercules hold. Yep. We had a loading carry medley, yep. um, which actually was really the weights weren't extremely heavy, mm. but the last implement was a huge barrel, and I've never <laughs> used that before. It was literally probably I'm six foot. Yeah, it yeah. came up to here. It was so tall. Yeah, it was actually quite <laughs> difficult. Yeah. But it was only 60 kilos. Yeah, but, but just it was rapid, water yeah, yeah. as well. Oh. So it was like swishing around and everything. Um, and then it was a max deadlift and a... Uh, was that five? Did I say five? You did say five, didn't you? She said five. Did I say five? <laughs> <laughs> and after the competition, the end result was? I won. Yep, we won four out of the five events and came second on the fifth event. Yeah, yeah, dominated. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Guys, yeah. and this is all within a year of her giving birth to her beautiful yeah. baby boy. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's why I said you guys, like, our special guest today because she is very special. Yeah. And she's on an international level and she's doing great things with her and her family, but not only that, you're a coach. Yes, I am a strongman coach as well. Yeah. And you have some amazing athletes. I Who's do. one sitting over there right yeah, now? Yeah, I got one athlete, uh, Viju. He just recently set the Australian record for Atlas Stone. So. And guys, you will all know who Viju is because last night I yes. whipped his ass. Yeah, yeah. The old boy whipped his ass, and <laughs> he just loaded a 230 kilo Atlas Stone. I'm telling you right now, guys. I couldn't do that right now. Yeah. No way. I couldn't do that. You have to have a good coach. Yeah but also have to be talented at lifting stones. And I actually measured him up last night. I grabbed his arm and went, yeah. you got long arms, cheetah. <laughs> <laughs>
That's why he's got long arms. So that, that's why he's good. Yeah, yeah. So he's good at throwing long arms. He's he's one to watch. That's for sure. Like, oh, and I honestly. said that to him. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Definitely one to watch because yeah. he's got a positive attitude. Yeah. He's got a strong mindset. Yeah. And yeah. he's willing to do the work. He is. He is. Doesn't and that's the start. It, he just gets in and and he for all of you watching that are a strong man or want to be a strong man that are in your career where you're wondering why you're not going anywhere. Those are the basics, man. Yeah. Get a good coach, yep. listen, yep. and put the work in. Yep. You know, if you can do those, man, everything will slowly come together. 100%. Yeah. 100%. But, man, really excited to have you here. I'm really looking forward to this food coming out. Thank you. So far, so good. A big cheers with the, with the special cheers drinks. The special Let's drinks. Let's go. Right. Alright fans, we're here. Now I've got the big bopper and the loaded fries. My love, what did you get? I've got a Kevin Bacon and some bacon and mac and cheese Ooh. croquettes. Know so. the rules guys, let's go. Oh, gosh. oh my goodness. Am I going to make a mess of myself oh, eating this? Oh, so, here we go. What's going on in that? How do I even, this is a four beef patty burger. Who needs four oh. beef patties? Oh. It's pretty good. It's actually quite soft. I was expecting it to be a bit. Mine's very beefy. Yeah. <laughs> Not every day you have four patties. Eh? No. <laughs> oh, it's good. Mm. The cheese, look at that. That's cheese. What the mm. hell is that? Holy. Oh, I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. There's a big brisket through there. Pretty unreal. Mine has got literally four beef patties on it with bacon, cheese, and the best sauce. Yeah. Like, this sauce There's is There's a good. lot going on. <laughs> there is a lot going on in here. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is good. I mean, I couldn't eat this every day though. No. <laughs> if you can see right here, guys, there's so many layers of mine of different stuff. There's a patty, but look at the brisket. They've got bacon. And the, I don't know if that's, I think, look at the brisket at the top. But weirdly enough, it all works together. I'm looking at that cheese, though. That just looks like a heart attack. <laughs> what is going on here? I'll just put that aside because that might come back to haunt me later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm glad mine doesn't have as much oh, cheese man. as that on it. So How's good. the texture? Is the texture through it all pretty good? Yeah, it's, it's even the whole way through. Like, it's not dry. Mm. <laughs> I want to say it's moist. Because <laughs> it is. A little bit moist. Like, yeah, moist. a bit moist. <laughs> you know, sometimes when food's that good... I was going to say. <laughs> you know, when food's that good, sometimes you just like, ooh! <laughs> ooh! That's exactly what just happened there. Oh my god. The real challenge is not wearing it all over your face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is honestly so good. Oh, that is so heavy. Yeah, I was going to say, how are you still going on that? Oh, I need a break. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Have you had Milky Lane before? Or is this your first ever Milky Lane experience? First ever Milky Lane experience, but I thought it'd be like other you know, places that build it up, you get in, it's like half average burgers. Oh, okay. Things aren't fresh, so. For what you see online, it's actually not far off of what you get at. I would say it's pretty on point. Mm. I thought the shakes were gonna be a bit more extravagant though. Mm. All right, this is the bacon mac and cheese croquette, so. That was good. Mm. That is real good. The load of fries were on. I'm not going to lie, the chips are a little bit overcooked, but the sauces and the flavours that they put on have made up for it. Because I think what they do is they distract you with the, with the spiciness a little, so you, <laughs> you chew faster, because that's what I'm feeling like. These are a bit sickly, to be honest. Oh. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to get all the way through yeah. this one. The sauce makes it really good, though. Man, my burger is actually so good. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go. I, I, I might just I'm, get through this whole thing. I don't think I can finish it. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> We're back again. <laughs> We're coming back yeah. in again. <laughs> you 
you've inspired me. <laughs> you can do it. You can't have me finish a burger and you not finish a burger. <laughs> the burger's way better than my croquettes, though. Mm. No more? You can try one for sure. Croquette. Alright guys, we're about to try the Kraken. The what? Like, the Kraken? Uh, no, the release the Kraken. <laughs> we're about to try it. Yeah, no. It's, it's um, awkward. It is, isn't it? You don't know what to do with that, it's like... It's a bit sickly. Not a fan. No. <laughs> Not a fan of the, of the Kraken. But look at that, look, it's like, just, they yeah. love the cheese here, right, look at, mm -hmm. it's like they saved some of this for later. Yep. Fam's croquette, no good. Yeah. No good. No good. <laughs> buffalo, buffalo <laughs> bill though, very good. <laughs> I might have to put this down and come back for a third round in a second. I just need to take a minute, a break from that one. <laughs> That's a thick layer of vodka at the bottom, oh my god. Not just here, it just hits you hard, you know. Yeah. <laughs> could, they, that's dangerous. Could be dancing on the street before you know it. <laughs> I want to finish it, but I don't know if I can. Don't do it, love. It's going to come back and haunt you. <laughs> this drink, however. All right, guys, that is the meal done. Um, I'm going to give that burger a 8 out, to 8 out of 10. I, I finished the burger, but I think it was just a bit too much cheese for me. Um, but the texture of the meat and the buns and the sauces were really good. Uh, the fries, I'm going to give that a 6. I think the chips are overcooked, but the spices again. They trick us with the spices, that was really good, they sort of made up for it, my love. Even though I couldn't finish my burger, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because it was so good. The beef patties were cooked really nice, the sauce was really good, it didn't have too much cheese. It's just a bit too much of a meal for me. Um, the bacon and mac and cheese croquettes, ooh, I was not a fan. They're too cheesy and just really heavy and oh, just too much. Yeah. Yeah, so we're both not a fan of the, um, the Krakens. No good. <clears throat> but establishment, very amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, very good. So thank you guys for tuning in for our food review. Thank you so much for our special guest. Thank you for having For coming me. through. And we are on, guys. Stay tuned for the next review. Much love, the warrior. We are here in Perth, Western. How are you?